Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 4th of September and it's 9.45 in the evening. Now in this video I thought I would uh, just show you three computers that I've been tinkering around with today. Um, one's on the worktop and I've got two on the floor beside me. One's a definite keeper, I'm not sure what I want to do with the other two yet. Maybe if someone did want them I'd probably sell them. I, uh, I don't know what they're worth though, especially this one. Anyway, this one I rescued out of the bins out back um, a few months ago now. Um, there was no hard drive in it and no RAM in it. Um, but when I powered it up it posted fine. But um, I got it out earlier to power it up and found that uh, the PSU fan had gotten extremely noisy. Um, and it was the um, OEM power supply. So I changed it for another one, only to discover that one's dead. <laughs> it didn't work. So I, I thought maybe in the future I should actually check, uh, you know, before I start uh, at least fixing them in properly. Because I put this one in properly, screwed it all in, connected it all up, dead. Which is a shame because that's a 500 watt one. So, um, I think I've got a 400 watt one in there now, which is good enough for this, it's probably more than enough for this little machine really, it's only got one hard drive in there, there's no GPU because I haven't got one to put in it, all I've got is like uh, video adapters and things, so, uh, but yeah it is working, I've actually added a couple of case fans, so, I'm just going to put those spare fans that I've got here back in the box out of the way and while that's booting I might just chuck some of these power supplies back in the cupboard as well because I've got them all out on the floor. That is the problem with the cupboard up the corner. You've got to dig everything out. Right. booted that time without prompting me to um, press F2 to load default BIOS settings because the BIOS battery is dead. So if I did sell it I'd replace that. Yeah. I named the computer Blobby that was just a random name. scary thing is I've got all these power supplies down here and I've actually dumped I don't know how many you know when I was doing that filming for Filthy House SOS which is, was nearly um, two years ago no it is two years ago now yeah I dumped I don't know how many power supplies I'm getting some floor space down here. Actually, the only ones I've got now, they are the, the decent spare ones. You know, so if one fails, like on my computer in the lounge or whatever, or on a friend's computer or something, then I, I know I've got a decent one that I can chuck in them for them. I throw out good power supply when it's something that likes to fail on computers. And that just means you'll end up having to spend money on another one. Oh, they're all bloody tangled up, man. Oh, back, I'm getting there. It's just a few oddball small ones now. Chucking in. means I'll be able to walk around in here a bit better as well. Right, one more. I believe, I don't think I've put the dead one in here, have I? I don't want to stick that one in here. Yep, we go. 
yeah, I don't know if this would actually be worth selling when it is just a basic OEM Asus machine at the end of the day. And I think 4 gigabytes of RAM is its most that you can actually install on this. Turn off the power control. It's a bit noisier now I've put some fans in it. It's the rear one, that's the noisiest. So, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM exactly. And it's an Intel Celeron E1400 at 2 gigahertz. Not bad for a processor, for a dual core. I've got one behind me which is actually better than that. Nope, I want to shut it down and I want to tuck this one up under the cupboard out of the way. Not under the cupboard, under the worktop. Yeah. Right. Come on, shut off. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't time that very well, did I? Right, I'll plug everything like that. So yeah, there's that one, the bin rescue one. And uh, maybe the previous owner um, just upgraded or something. Just threw that one out. Because there was no hard drive or anything in that one. And that's the dead process. I was going to throw it that way, but that's not a good idea at this time of night, is it? I don't think my neighbours below me would appreciate that thumping on the floor. Oh, I've got another power supply on the floor. Right, so this is the next one. This one I actually put together today. Um, this is the £2 case that I bought at a yard sale um, a couple of months or so ago now. And I have thrown in one of my Gigabyte motherboards. Which has got a Pentium dual core in it at, at 3 gigahertz. Um, I think I said it was a gigabyte motherboard, didn't I? I um, personally like gigabyte. And that's what it's got inside. Might be a bit better, a bit of extra light. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM, so it's got 2 times 2 gigabyte sticks in there. Um, 500 gig Hitachi hard drive, a fractal design 550 watt power supply. That's about all I can tell you at the minute. I don't know if there's anywhere to put like um, an SSD. I, don't, I can't remember. I think you can actually put SSDs on there. I think these are, these um, caddies are designed to take both. It looks like with those screw spacings at the back, you might be able to put one up there, I'm not sure. Right, so let's plug this in. I've got no graphics card here because I haven't got one to put in. But this is one that I might consider selling because I think the RAM can actually be upgraded in this. Um, it's a bit of an oddball motherboard actually. Because you probably noticed it's got four dim slots. But, two of them are DDR3 DIMM slots and two of them are DDR2. I don't know why some of these motherboards did things like that back in the day. I'm, I'd rather just have one or the other. Got a red fan in the front. Um, I've actually got three spare SAR sockets there. There is nowhere to put a disk drive or anything in here either. To be honest, these days I don't think many people, you know, they many people still use um, CD drives. Only old school guys like me, I think, that still um, use them. I still use CDs to install uh, Windows and whatnot. Even though I could easily make up a um, bootable USB drive, which I need to. Uh, pull my finger out and do it actually. The problem is with um, installed discs, they get lost, they get damaged, you end up having to burn another one off. <laughs> there we go, this is actually quite a uh, quiet machine. 
sheet. Just why it's too fast. I think I could put one in the top as well if I wanted. Yeah, I could put one up there. But to be honest, for what this is running at the minute, I don't think you'd need any more cooling. I think that would be adequate enough. One in, one out. Yeah. So, uh, let's just go in a control panel. I don't know why, because I've already told you the specs, but... <laughs> I'll give you the model number of the processor anyway, which is an E5700 on this one. Pentium dual core, 64-bit OS, Windows 10, yada yada, 500 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive, 4 gigabytes of RAM. I do want to um, note down the motherboard model number, which I will give to you. The model number of the motherboard, for anybody that wants to Google it, is a ga dash G41M dash combo. I presume the combo means because it's got a combo RAM on it. You can't use both together. I know that one. <laughs> um, that won't work. But yeah, I um, just want to see how, what the maximum RAM is. I would say about 8 gigs. You might be lucky and it might be 16 gigs. There we go, this one is up and running. The more interesting one is still down on the floor. Shut down. I'm going to have to uh, move the monitor back, unfortunately. Because it's quite a big and quite heavy case. Um, the case I actually traded with a friend of mine for another case. He was after something different and something um, better than the one he had. And I actually had one which was for a you know a project that I wasn't doing anymore. So we swapped. And then I got a motherboard from him as well, which was uh, I don't know if it's it was the same as my old i7 that I killed. I'm just gonna say that I killed it. I'm pretty certain that was my fault anyway. Right, this one is a big bulky case. Oh, you son of a bugger. Right, here it is. But I quite like this one anyway. Um, got plenty of upgradeability on it. Okay, so that's not locked in. There we go. I don't know why that was locked in. But one of the reasons I actually like this one is because on the top, there's this little cover that you can just pull away, and in there is a, um, a SATA connector for hard drives, so you can just slide them in. So that means if I have any hard drives, like in my stack in the cupboard or whatever, that I need to uh, format, or if I get another bunch of hard drives in that I want to test or something, I can just stick them on the top of this. I haven't got to mess around, you know taking a side cover off a computer and whatnot. Forgot a bloody fan that's there. Um, I have tested this one, the motherboard does work. I've got no hard drives fitted um, and I've got no heatsink on the processor. So um, when I have tested it, it has literally just been a quick test to see if it posted, which it does. Now, it's got six dim slots in here. Right there. And I've got um, eight gigabytes of RAM. Those are two four gigabyte sticks, I think. Or is that four gigabyte? Hang on, I can't remember. Let me just take one out. No, it's um, four gigabyte kit, two times two gigs, and they are Corsair RAM XMS3. And I have got them on. These dims are actually numbered weirdly because you know, <laughs> you've got number two here where my finger is, followed by number one, so that's blue and white, and then you've got four and three, and then you've got six and five. 
I don't know why they're numbered like that. So currently I've got the RAM in 2 and 1. So what I need now is to uh, lay this down. It's the easiest way to do this. Plug the cables in I need. I need my DVI adapter for this one. There's no onboard video on here so I had to put um, a video card in it. Because my plan is to build this up as a usable gaming Intel machine. Uh, the processor it's got is an i7. I can't power it up long enough to actually tell you, you know, what i7 it is, and I can't see the model number on it either. Right. I'm just going to grab this heatsink. I don't think it matters too much if I plug it in, it's not going to be on for long, but I'll plug it in anyway. That can sit on there. I'm just going to put my finger on the middle to give it a little bit of a bit of pressure on it. And put that up there for you. did work earlier, and that doesn't want to work. No. Let's just do that. So let's stick that one in the next white slot and see what happens. Just put the finger back on there. I know it takes a few for that for it to come up on there. It's calling me along now, isn't it? Diggy bloody dim slots on it, has it? Give everything a bit of a wiggle. Ooh. A bit too much force, I think. Come on, boot out. There we go. Might be a bit of dust in one of these slots or something. But at least it works. And I am watching some. Um, uh, heat sinks and things on eBay and I've had a look on Amazon as well just to see if they have anything. Not decided where I'm going to get one from yet. I can't do anything until Wednesday anyway. Um, but I am going to have a look in a little while for another SSD to throw in here. Or actually, actually, now I think about it, I might message uh, my brother and uh, see if he's still got his that he was selling. He was selling a 240 gig one, I think. Huh? I've got this diddy little 64 gig here, but that's really something I use for testing. Exactly what my brother used to use it for. It's a warm. Yeah, I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to burn it out without a proper heat sink and thermal paste and whatnot on it. And yes, I know I've got to do some uh, cable management in here as well. That's for the front fan. That's what that cable's for. 
I have got one fan in the top, it's here, and I've got to put another one on the back. But I also want to have a look around and see if I could find some cheap LED fans to put in it, just to make it light up a bit. Just because. <laughs> um, the side panel is even space. One, two, three, four different sized fans. I'm not kidding. Look. Ooh, all them mounting holes on it for four different sized fans. <laughs> You can put two of them on there. Um, I think cooling is a bit overkill, but then again, as you can install one, two, three, four, five, six hard drives, you could use it as a home server, so you probably would want as much cooling in this as possible if you were going to use it for, um, for that sort of purpose. I don't know what would be the best way to set the fans up though. Probably blowing in an exhaust out of these two and the rear one. I don't know, I'm going to put the side panel on just because I want it out of the way. So yeah, hopefully by next weekend I'll have uh, a few parts for this machine to um, finish it off. I hope. And then that can be my uh, Intel gaming build. Eventually I will upgrade that video card in there. It's not the best. Oof. Come on. Ah, it's got rubber feet on it. It's marking my worktop. Look there. A bit of glue or something stuck there as well. Right, so that is it for the video. So uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. I will, uh, as always, put a link to my Discord server down below, so feel free to come over and join the server and have a chit chat. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye!